let us come back and solve this question let us uh, because i'm trying to do different variations in that uh, question once i'm trying to compare ionization enthalpy with electronic configuration color property with electronic configuration paramagnetic or diamagnetic behavior that is magnetic behavior with configuration so uh, let us see how can we relate so that all the questions are complete under this category now they've given us which of the following two okay so they've given a different type of question here they've not mentioned the element but they've given the atomic number among these two i have to say which is paramagnetic in nature so as i all said if it is unpaid electron then it is paramagnetic nature if it is paid it is diamagnetic in nature correct now i have to write the configuration and show which is paramagnetic so let us write the answer now you have five and four this is a 5 or 4 whatever element they have given uh, okay I don't know whether it is 5, 4 or vanadium I don't know but it is this is given but why did I say 5 because the element configuration is V most of the students may get confused but this is vanadium atomic number 23 21, 22, 23 so V stands for vanadium okay not 5 so vanadium 4 and vanadium 5 so when i write or see the configuration of vanadium it is 3d3 4s2 so 3d3 4s2 here again 3d3 4s2 now what did they say they said 4 <coughs> it has lost 4 electrons the oxidation state is 4 so this becomes 0 this becomes already 2 have gone so this becomes 1 now in this 5, so this becomes 0, this also becomes 0, it has to lose 5 electrons. So now here how many do we have? You have 1 unpaid electron, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, 1 unpaid electron, here it's nothing, no, no unpaid electrons only, the earlier one whatever is there, it's completely stable, yes, so which is paramagnetic now, yeah, compared to 2 because of this unpaid electron unpaid electron V4 is paramagnetic and this is diamagnetic because they have asked me only paramagnetic I am writing that answer simple now let us come back and see this question so I need this part of the board I will erase this part of the board and try to do this question here now this is a different way of questioning us what is this of the ions Ag plus so let us write the ions first they said Ag plus 1 Co plus 2 Ti plus 4 now how can I remember the uh, this in configuration okay basically in your CBSE paper uh, in your actual CBSE paper CBSE is going to give you the atomic numbers so seeing the atomic numbers you can write I believe use the above principle and try to write the configuration now they said which one of the following will be co colored in aqua solution so what con what concept should you remember for an element or for an ion to be colored it has to show dd transition for showing the dd transition it should have unpaid electrons so whichever is unpaired will be colored whichever has unpaired electron will be colored point number one so let us write that whichever has unpaired electron that particular ion is colored simple next which if each one of the above ionic species right is in turn placed in magnetic field okay they have taken this ionic species and placed in the magnetic field how will they respond and why now we very well know in when i place in the magnetic field if it has an unpaid electron only it's going to get attracted to the magnetic field so whichever is paramagnetic will respond or uh, uh, attract get attracted whichever is diamagnetic will ripple that's the concept so let us write the first concept and let us write the second concept so the second concept is paramagnetic same thing same concept will attract third concept is diamagnetic will ripple done uh, fine here also shall we write paramagnetic better than you will understand para means unpaid paramagnetic so let us see now they have asked me to write for three now silver <coughs> your silver is here silver configuration is 4d10 and 5s1 4 4d10 and your 5s1 done next 
so uh, next cobalt okay uh, cobalt they asked me to write cobalt is here 3d7 4 is 2 so 3d7 you can write here also not, not a problem but when you take out the electrons it's important now ti right <coughs> where is our uh, ti ti titanium vanadium here 3d2 4 is 2 so 3d2 4 is 2 now I have to take out one electron. From where will I take out? I'll take out one electron here. This becomes zero. I have to take out two electrons. I have to take out two electrons from here. This is zero. I have to take out four electrons. So when I take out four electrons, this is zero. This is zero. Now see which is unpaid. Now this is fully, this is completely filled. So completely filled. So it is not colored. Here when I write one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 3 unpaired electrons, 3, okay, so this will be colored and this is paramagnetic, now let us see this, this is completely filled, isn't it, if I take out this left over is completely filled, so this is completely filled, so colorless, this is also colorless. Now let us see. So first question did we answer? Out of the following ions, Ag, Co and Tr, which is colored? I said, so Co plus 2 is colored. That's it. The first question is done. Hope you understood. Once again, I asked me to compare between all the three. One, two, three. I took all the three configuration. I tried to remove one electron from the outermost shell. I, and then I wrote the configuration. When I saw this, this is completely filled diamagnetic. When I saw this, this is this is unpaid electrons or so paramagnetic, hence colored. When I took out four electrons, it is again diamagnetic, so it is colorless. So I've come to that conclusion. Now I have to see which what will happen when I when they place in the above. Now we very well know what concept did I say? If it is paramagnetic, it will get attracted. If it is diamagnetic, it will get repelled. Now among all the three, let me erase this again. I have to uh, use the board for this. Hmm. Now, among all the three, this concept is first is hope it is clear. I have to explain the second one. Among all the three, what is this? 4 is 2. 4 is 0. Okay. Now, among all the three which has some unpaid electrons, n is equal to 4. So, because of this paramagnetic, n is equal to 3, uh, sorry, when it is placed in the magnetic uh, this in field, immediately they get attracted because of this paramagnetic nature so same story again co plus 2 is or co plus 2 and gets attracted in magnetic field why because of its paramagnetic nature why because of its paramagnetic nature that's this is how you're going to write both the answers